Well, I had a bunch of buddies that uh, I played basketball and football with. You know, we'd lived together for four years in high school. And uh, when we graduated from high school, all of those guys were going to go to Texas A&M. And, uh, and they registered, pre-registered, and I guess they prepaid and everything else. But I, at, at uh, two hours before they were going to go down there in a the car, I told them to call, come by and get me too. <laughs> I jumped in the car with an extra, uh, with a change of clothes, and uh, I went to Texas A&M. I signed in, and they gave me a uniform and a bed to sleep in, and uh, uh, it was wonderful. I mean, we started going to class. I even took some notes. You know, I, I didn't really take notes, but I pretended that I was writing. I wanted everybody to think that I was really part of that. <laughs> and then we were playing football out on the football field about three or four days later, and I heard my name called over the loudspeaker. Cadet Finn, report to finance. I knew, I knew my college education was over. <laughs> but I still people, tell people I went to Texas A&M, which is a true story. So I went back to my barracks. I put, put my civilian clothes on. I folded my, my uh, cadet uniform uh, very precisely and made up my bed and put it on, on my bed and uh, got my little bag of clothes and I went out the back door uh, so nobody would see me and nobody was around. But there was a long field, maybe a quarter of a mile, uh, just an open field. And I ran across that thing all, all the way over to the road that I knew it, so I could hitchhike home. I, I remember I was crying, really crying bad because I was uh, leaving all my buddies and my, <laughs> My future was was back there with them, and uh, I tried to get through a barbed wire fence, and I, I, I fell a couple of times, and it was, it was an agonizing time. And then I stand there trying to hitchhike, and there were no cars any place. Then way down there, I saw a pickup truck uh, that was coming out of Texas A&M turn and come my way, and I, I knew that. You know, it was one of the guards. They have people watching to make sure cadets don't go home. So he pulled up and asked me what I was doing. I told him I was going home because I had no money to pay to stay. And those were magic words to that guy. He, and he'd probably heard it before. But if I'd said anything else, well, he'd have probably taken me back. But, um, you know, they say money talks and cash screams. And I didn't have either one. So... Uh, it took me two days to get home. I spent the night in a, in a field with a bunch of cows around a, under a big tree, and it, it, it was it, uh, had had time to reevaluate. And uh, uh, traumatic times, you know, it it sounds trivial now to me, but it was a big deal then. In the back of my mind, I kept telling myself that that. Uh, Forest Finn is not supposed to be in this environment. Uh, I cannot imagine myself sitting in the classroom for four years. And uh, I was a terrible student in high school, made D's and F's, and it, I think it's because they didn't have anything that interested me. Certainly algebra was not something that would interest me. Or I made pretty good grades in mechanical drawing, but... Uh, I've always thought that education was kind of like religion. You know, some people need more of it than others, and and I, I never I never felt like my my place in this world was was in the classroom. And and I, uh, I think for a long time, in the back of my mind, I resented the fact that they made me sit there, and when I could be out doing something that I really wanted to do. I mean, what's this all about anyway? <laughs> 